Right, then the final whistle goes at the Etihad Stadium and Liverpool have fallen to defeat by three goals to two. An action-packed game, but in the end, it was a tale of who could hit the target and who couldn't. City took the lead in the 10th minute through Erling Haaland. and Liverpool equalised 10 minutes later through Fabio Carvalho. Just after half-time, Riyad Mahrez with a wonderful goal put City 3-2 up. Mo Salah equalised almost immediately. Uh, and then 10 minutes later, Liverpool fell asleep off a set piece. Nathan Ake scored. And at that point, we were thinking there's probably more goals in this game. It turned out there wasn't. Liverpool had chances. Darwin Nunes, in particular, had three chances that he wished he'd either the target on. Liverpool had two chances, in t- sorry, two attempts on target and scored both of them. Um, I don't think, I think it was fair to say we weren't, we weren't convinced that their goalie was the best player in the world there. But either way, Liverpool couldn't test them. And it just felt like they just ran out of a little bit of steam, maybe a little bit of quality, I don't know. But... They held their own, but a couple of sloppy performances uh, at either end of the pitch, really, and that's what ultimately was the difference, because City were just a, that little bit more clinical. Like I say, nine shots on target. They had, they had 18 shots. We had seven shots. Only two got on target. The game was there for Liverpool, but it was also there for City, and I think, uh, to be truthful, City, I think, I think in truth, the runner play, they, they, run like, play, they yeah, probably deserved yeah, the win. They definitely deserved the win. I've got no, I, I got no qualms about that. Like I, I'll always say when we've been the second best team and again like I said to you at half time there's no shame in being a second best team to a Man City side we could have played our best 11 today and still got played off the park by a City team so there's never a guarantee you never rock up to a City game and say it's a, it's a, a dead rubber and it's, it's nailed on we're going to win we have to be competitive we have to do a couple of says in the in the right moments we have to find it. No, we we do like genuinely the first moment that you get an opportunity to come up against your centre forward and show your dominance is the perfect time. Nat Phillips done it when he got introduced into the game. Joe Gomez didn't react. We seen Laporte do it in the second half. So those individual things the, and individual errors in our game, we're going to have to eradicate. ASAP as a team, the system, the switching off from a corner, all these things stack up to the fact that when a team again they scored the chances that we could have prevented they missed all the chances that we had no we had no right for them to not concede there was a, you know we could go back and name them all there was a fair few that I was like they should be scoring that and we're lucky that we yeah, got nah, away with shots it on target, like yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. a couple of good saves a couple of good blocks no, so you, yeah. you, you they can't look at themselves <laughs> at the back of this you know the ref had a he, you know he probably could have got a few got a little bit more Trigger happy with the cards at certain points, but they can't look at this game tomorrow and think, ah, we've been hard done to there, lads. We should be into the next round. No, the better team on the day dominated you in in, in uh, possession, dominated you in midfield, was more clinical in front of goal and actually worked your goalkeeper. We didn't do enough of those things that I've just mentioned and that's the reason that we're not into the next round. We've got a super chat from Scott Hawks. He went, likely a different outcome if you had the real front-line options on the bench. The depth of front suddenly becomes a bigger issue than the midfield. Hopefully we move in January. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, Liverpool obviously, I don't know why, I don't know if Carvalho was injured because when they took him off, they took him off at half-time basically and put Chamberlain on. And listen, he was involved in the second goal, but you are right, there's no, where City can bring on Grealish and, and Foden and, and they started Mahrez. Liverpool had no one, because Jota, because Diaz and because uh, Bobby Firmino were all out, yeah, yeah, we were we were left lacking a little bit. Um, what I would say is that Darwin Nunes does really well for our second goal, like yeah. really, really yeah, well, yeah, yeah. and that's he's a bit of an enigma at the moment because he makes the what he, he done. We ran in behind time and time and time again, got in and in and in, but when when we needs them to be a bit more. Cool. Yeah, he, he has three composed. chances. He has he has essentially a couple of one on ones. And that last one in particular, you, you've got you can't drag that wide. You've got to at least make the goalie make a save, and that's the disappointment thing. Is that I don't think we did play but brilliant. We were okay. We had chances. But to we, had, we, we yeah. could we we, on a we could have punished them. We could have gave them the sucker punches, and City fans could have been like, ah, that's like you know a game we should have definitely won. But we sucker punched them, and we got the result. But we didn't because we just we didn't have our shooting boots on. There was a, there was that lack of composure. There wasn't that clinical edge and there wasn't that ruthlessness. You've got it like that Mares goal again. I will speak on it because I think it was a great finish from him. He knows what he wants to do. I think Darwin had to overthink everything today. And I think the thing with I think the fact that he hadn't scored when he had those one on ones in the first half led him to do the right thing in the second half by teeing up Salah. So it was like, all right, you've learned that 
you're not fully confident in front of goal right now, but you can still provide us a goal. I think, and mate. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. I think he's comfortable down the left. Yeah, not so I much. I don't think he's. I don't think he's comfortable down because he wants to hit it with his right foot usually. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he when he's running down that right hand side a couple of he just doesn't look as natural. Maybe that's what it is. But but either way, like I say, he's got. He, he, what I would say is, like I say, I, I do think City on the on the bounce play deserve to win. But when you go to City, you probably are. That's going to happen. You've got to take your chances. You've, yeah, you've exactly. got to take your chances. And you, you can't City. fall asleep at a set piece. Hmm. If they score a worldie, fair enough. Like that, the Bruyne one at the end, then if Fab's not on the line and that rushes. The Marlowe's goal's a very good goal. I know Liverpool's yeah. a bit sloppy, but it's a really well taken goal. The first one's, if it's a good ball and a good head, like, but you can't like give them a goal. And Liverpool just fell asleep. And that, that's what worries me a little bit is that. They were just, they were, yeah, they were caught cold there. You've got to be switched on against it. They're too good for that. And like you said, De Bruyne was man of the match. He didn't have his best game. He no, was he good. Yeah. But, he was average. But, that was an average, but he but, allowed like, him If you to... give him space, he'll kill you. And and a couple of times, Liverpool give him, Liverpool Facts. Give him too, too much Too much room. space. Too much respect. There wasn't enough gnarl in it for me to be like, we know he's going to be there. Like we said about the best just don't... I said this from the team news. Your job is to not give him a yard. Your job is to, as soon as he looks up, you're on him. You're leaving something on him. You're letting him know that you're there. And nobody, and again, it, it, you can't expect that from a young lad to, to be able to have that level of presence in a game. But again, Fabinho's finding his way back into, you're trying to find his way back into some level of form and he hasn't played a lot of games. But we're making excuses for professional football players that know you are playing against one of the best centre mids in the world if not the best centre mid in the world. So, close him the fuck down. Don't give him that much time. Don't let him run the show because there's only so much you can do. But if you're not putting the application in to do the bits that like will prevent him from being able to just get... Like, mate, that ball he clips in for that for that third goal, it's ridiculous. First, it just rolls out to him again and he just clips it. Like, he just knows... You've got to, that's where Liverpool needs to be alive. That's your corner. You've got you can't, you can't, that's criminal, man. That's, yeah. that's criminal. You can't give him that much time. He's too good. Com- yeah, completely agree. I think we, we, let our, we, let our, we let ourselves down in those moments and I think there's a there's an element of... I can live with it. We can get beat by City on any given day. I can live with that. This competition right now, our, our ambitions and focus should not necessarily be on the League Cup. Yeah, trophies and that's what football's about. But we've got targets that we really need to double down on the second part of this season. So if this is one less commitment that we now have to factor in and worry about, yeah, there's, a, there's an opportunity missed for some of the young lads, but I don't think we've got the depth of squad at this particular point in the season to really give them them opportunities anyway. We need to be getting our best team, our fittest team and available team out week in, week out for the big games that are going to matter come the end of the season. When we're looking at the, that, that Premier League table that says Liverpool are cementing themselves in top four. We had that chat before earlier. The lad was saying, I hope we're not playing Thursday night on um, ne- next season. That's still a very real possibility if we don't book up our ideas. We haven't got a lot of time before you're looking at top four thinking, well, it's out of reach, it's out of touch. I'll take it. It hurts. It's not great. I feel sorry for that. You know, the Pauls, the kids that are there in the ground now thinking, well, that was a missed opportunity almost because we probably could have beat them on another day. But the reality is, Boxing Day, the day before New Year's, six points, and we'll look at this as, do you know what? We'll take it. Got to take it on the chin, but at least we've got a little bit closer to our real goals and ambitions. Yeah, like, and like I say, both sides have made changes. It just felt like City had that little bit of... Well, they did have a, the extra bit of quality. They had, they had the Bruyne on the pitch, and Liverpool didn't really... Have anyone who can match that, like I say, and in the end, it, it, yeah, well, there are three big hitters. The Bruyne provide an assist. You've got Haaland to finish goals, and you've got Marlis on the pitch. Two of ours, you know, or even just yeah, really, two of ours. It was just the fact that Salah pops up and Nunes gets an assist. But realistically, you want Nunes to pop up and finish one of them. He had three or four good chances, and. You can you can turn around if that again I'm I'm not gonna make out that that goalkeeper's a well beater because I've never seen him play and he did his positioning for both both of those goals didn't fill me with real confidence, but if he pulls off world class saves, you hold your hands up and say there's not much more he could have done. We've sat there before and we've looked at some of Nunes's missed opportunities. You think is there any he could have done better? You think actually no, the keeper's made a good save there or whatever it is. There was nothing from the goalkeeper tonight. The keeper offered them nothing. 
it was our inability to be ruthless that really let us down. I yeah, think. I think you're right then. We'll, we'll start around there, let you know, guys. Oh, on the YouTube channel very shortly, Errol will be here with your fan reaction show. So, yeah, get your tweets in at the Red Men TV. Get on the Facebook. If you're one of our YouTube members, you can get in the live chat for that one as well. I'll be over at the board a little bit later on with the player rating show and then on Red Men Plus streaming live in a, an hour, an hour and a half, something like that. We'll have the instant match reaction. That'll be available. If you're going to bed, fair play to you. Go and get your head down. Wake up in the morning. It'll be there for you in video or podcast form as well but yeah that is uh, Liverpool 3 sorry Liverpool I wish Liverpool 2 Manchester City 3 Liverpool are no longer in the Carabao Cup there's bigger fish to fry ahead but yeah they need to get their acts together and get some lads back on the pitch ahead of Boxing Day we'll catch us all for the Villa game until then see you in a bit bye bye Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that show. Did you know Red Men Plus subscribers get access to their exclusive Facebook group? Yes, there is a Red Men Plus subscribers group on Facebook just for them. So if you want to get involved with like-minded Reds and avoid the idiot on Twitter and normal Facebook and all that, yeah, sign up to Red Men Plus, enter your username as you sign up to the Facebook group, and you'll get access to... Ta-da!